Marvel fans, welcome to Tori Talks TV. I'm Tori. And I'm Dr. S. Today we'll be discussing Miss Marvel, episode 5, called Time and Again. And this episode was uh, mostly, it took place in British-occupied India in 1942, so we get to learn about Aisha. I know. And didn't you love how the Marvel Studios logo, first it became like black and white and then it kind of like morphed into a newsreel. So cool. And then gave a little like a snippet into uh, like the historical background. So I, cool. So well done. I'm still um, so in shock that we're, we're getting to see this. I know. Yeah. It's kind of amazing. So Aisha is on the run and then she's sleeping. And uh, a man wakes her up with a stick. I love that. <laughs> um, and he, she's like, I'll break your leg. And he's like, well, sorry, kind of yeah. not doing well. Anyway, so this is the man that she will later fall in love with. A baby I, with. They had instant chemistry. I know. Did you notice that? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. like right away. Their antagonism was definitely more of a flirtation. Yeah. It was cute. Yeah, they're both gorgeous, and um, they're just so sweet and loving. So, yeah, he brings her in. They start a family, and all is well. But then... Najma, I'm not saying it right, probably. She shows up and... They're what? making her look scarier and scarier with the lighting and everything. She did not look scary when we met her. She it's all about like the lighting. Some kind of evil queen. Yes, from a with the Disney black. Movie. Like um, they make her eyes look more sunken in. Oh, I'm like she, for made, sure. she looks so friendly when we met her. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Well, she's there and she wants her to come with her, but Aisha's obviously um not scared but um, unsettled by yes, it. Right? She knows it's dangerous. She knows, so she gives Bengal to Sana, her mm -hmm. daughter, who we know is not is not Nani. Nani. So cool to see her. So they have to go to this train station, right? Because they've got to escape. Mm -hmm. And um, she's there with her husband, Hassan, and Sana. And then she kind of like gets separated from them. She kind of knows. I think she said she knows that she has to sacrifice herself. Yeah. I think because she makes him promise to take her. Yes. And, and Make sure she's safe. Right. That's so sad. I know. And so then, she knew she wasn't going to be I, with them. Isn't that crazy? So sad. Um, and then Najma, she demands the bangle, and then she stabs her. What the heck? Come on, man. Uh, and, then, and then she does some kind of magic, and then Kamala's there. Yeah. And... That, that was interesting because, like, while she was kind of dying, she just kind of, she has that picture mm -hmm. of her family, and then it's just, like, all of a sudden Kamala's there. And so I'm so confused, but also I get it, but I'm not. I right? know. You feel that yeah. it makes sense, but if you try to explain it, it doesn't. Right. I know. I can't tell you why it happened, no. but I get. And Kamala knows, too. Yeah. But if she tried to tell someone, wouldn't they think she's crazy? Probably. It's the same. Why don't, we shouldn't even bother. Kamala's the one who it did doesn't. it. Kamala has to <laughs> has to get Sana to safety, and mm -hmm. she gets to use her powers. And she said, "I don't have stars, but I have circles." And she's like, t "She's so cute oh with her." Gosh. And then there's the trail of stars. Oh my gosh! That and the picture she has the picture oh. to show later. It's, the, so it's basically the proof. It's like the photographic evidence that what she's saying is true. Right. And yep. without even having to say it. Like, right. It's like we're saying. Yeah. Here it is. No words, not necessary. Not necessary, yeah. And Aisha does die. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Kamala's back in the street where that fight broke out, right? So, yes. whoa. But time warp, but that's okay. Yeah. And then uh, there's this veil that opens up, mm -hmm. and uh, the one minion of Najma gets burnt to a crisp. They seem really excited about this oh, veil. Oh, she but was gung-ho, like, I'm going to just go home. And <laughs> she disintegrates. This is what happens. So then Najma wants to go too, but then Kamala's like trying to stop her. Like, what about Cameron? Your son, family, family first. And then before she actually goes, she says his name, and then like he gets like these powers. Like they're like yes. transferred to him. Yes. So my question is, did she do good for him or bad for him? Good. good? Let's say okay, good. Okay, because say good. so she knew she also was sacrificing herself to save him. Oh, interesting. Because she could have. I think Kamala was telling her, just don't go. Yeah. But why did she go and die and then send powers to Kamran? That's what I don't get. She, like, passed the torch, and she's like, I've done all I can do, and I don't want to do this anymore. And maybe there's already a strained relationship because she left it behind. I mean, that was really mean. <laughs> the heck? Yeah. Um, there is a really loving moment between the generations of women. Yes, I loved I it. Love. It seems like some things have been mended, mm -hmm. and then like, there's apologies all around, and love, and hugging. More it's understanding, so right? Understanding from your perspective like we have been getting little hints of in the previous episodes, like giving your kid what they need and mm -hmm. not what you were missing. Mm -hmm. I loved it. It, was, it made me a little misty-eyed. Yeah, it was, it was short, yeah. but powerful. It was perfect. Yeah. 
They very good storytelling. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, Cameron shows up at Brian's. Place. That was so good. <laughs> His name's Bruno. He's like, I've been calling you Brian. He's like, Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Bruno no. pretends he didn't notice, and oh, and yeah, and Cameron really wasn't doing it to be passive aggressive. He wasn't. He's just, just a really nice guy. Didn't he Sincere, misunderstood? Sincerely thought it was Brian. I love him. I love yes. both of those. I love boys. both of them. So wait, did we already know that Bruno didn't have parents? Like, what happened to his parents? Yeah, because he lives with his, his grandma. His grandma. Th- yes, exactly. Okay. We don't know. We didn't know the that details. they left. We didn't know. Mm. Did he say that he lo- that they left him? Yeah, something like something that. Something like something mm-hmm. sad. Yeah. So they had connected. On that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I like them too. Oh, by the way, I was very curious about this Red Dagger. Oh, oh. They yeah. dated in the comic books, Ms. Marvel and Red Dagger. Like a little couple. How cute. How adorable. I know. So I don't know. I don't think we're going to see that in this series because he seems to be gone. I think so. It's like, he, give me a call one he, like, day. served his purpose, but yeah, yeah, they do have really good chemistry too. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. well, maybe he'll. Come back around. Yes. <laughs> one more episode to do that. So then um, there's this drone looking thing, and Cameron's like, I'm being followed. Mm-hmm. He does some kind of magic thing, and then the last line is from Bruno saying, You have powers too? <gasps> Fate to black. Such a good ending. These episodes fly by for me. Yeah. I'm, I look at the time, and I, no, 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 it's not over. It has to be, there has to be more. And then what now? So good. Nope. Yeah. And why do we only have one episode left? We only have one episode left. Do you think there will be a season two, or is this going to go into movie territory? It's going to go, well, it's already been announced that Ms. Marvel will be in the next Captain Marvel movie. Ms. With You Marvel. saw Ms. Captain Marvel. I did. Yes, so she'll be with Carol Danvers. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, so you'll have to watch that one, of How course. How exciting. Yes, of course, <laughs> I will. I'm inching my way because, up. Because uh, Monica Rambeau will also be in that, and you've already Monica met her Rambeau. in Wanda, so, you know, you're uh-huh. in. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there at my next... Uh, film to watch is Thor. Thor 1. Thor, Thor number one. 1. Oh god, there's like 8 or something. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. But the, the Thor Love and Thunder is coming out on Saturday. Uh, we'll go see that. I'm not there yet. Well, <laughs> this was a very good episode of Ms. Marvel. Um, I'd say mostly because Aisha. I love her and she's my favorite character and that's all I'm going to say. And we've been building up to meeting her, so I'm really glad that we got to meet her. And yes. I mean, I guess that's it for her though. Yeah. Aww. They're keeping up with pacing really well and they're it doesn't feel like it's like, oh my gosh, there's so much left to be answered and then it's all going to be dumped at you in the last episode. No, I feel like this is a really good timing. Yes, to... they'll go back from Pakistan to New Jersey yeah. and then wrap it all up there, right? Mm, nice little With bow. With Bruno and Kamran and Kamala and then hopefully we'll get to see Nakia. Oh, yes. We That's have gotta, to. Got to tie up those loose ends, yes, too. Yes, exactly. Make men and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Okay, everybody, let us know what you thought of this fifth episode of Ms. Marvel. Comment below, like, and subscribe, and then we'll see you for the finale. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>